Hey, what's going on guys, Timzy here, and today we're going to be continuing our How to Defend series. We're going to be moving on to CCTV on Clubhouse. So if you guys are new to the series, then definitely check out the description below for the playlist to the other videos I've done so far. But more importantly, if you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell. It helps me out a ton on pumping out these videos and it lets me know that you guys are liking the content. But let's get into the video. So I don't want to waste any time, let's get right into the op lineup. So when it comes to a CCTV defense, typically you're going to want to bring a Jaeger, a Smoke, a Maestro, some sort of wall denial, so in this case we'll bring a Cade. And then as your last operator it can kind of be a flex pick, but I highly recommend a Valkyrie or a Malusi. And as for your reinforcements, you're going to want to get the cash wall, the server wall, the middle red wall, the single rafters wall, and then as your last four reinforcements, you're going to want to get all four garage walls. All right, we're going to start out with Jaeger, and the first thing you're going to do is going to go and get the server reinforcements. The reason you're doing this is because you have a lot to set up, so you want to make sure that you get some reinforcements that are relatively close to where you're positioned at. So once we're done getting these server walls, you're going to go over towards red stairs. You're going to place both of your barb on the red stairs because you have a maestro and the maestro should bring barb as well and they will be able to put barb inside of garage but your first ads is going to go by this red drone hole to block any sort of zofia stuns that may come through that drone hole to deny the bandit trick but in this case we're actually going to k trick so it actually won't have too much of an effect but it will block any sort of soft destruction that may come through there the second ads is going to go on rafters and this will just be here to support the rafters player which will probably be the maestro and then our last ADS is going to go server window just because a lot of teams like to go outside of server window to burn ADS and potentially nade the person bandit tricking. But like I said before, we will actually have a Cade in this case. Other than that, the positioning for Jaeger, you're probably going to roam early round just to make sure that you force the attackers to try to use some drones, waste some economy, and ultimately waste some utility to try and help clear you out. Um, I highly recommend playing maybe lounge or near blue so that if you do get pressured out from secret, you can easily rotate up the main stairs and then rotate back to bar, to lounge, maybe go master, come back to site. Um, just make sure you don't trap yourself so that you can actually have a rotation and a way to kind of exit that roam game. All right, moving on to smoke, you have quite a hefty job to do, but we're going to start right away. You're just going to make a rotate into red. You can make one or two. I like to actually get two walls or two rotate holes. So I'll show you the second one. But after we get one or two of the rotate holes, you're going to reinforce this red wall. A lot of the time, I actually like to make this other rotate hole here or at least some sort of line of sight so that this wall is not completely soft without any holes in it. After that, what I like to do is make some holes on the top of this cash wall. And the reason you're doing this is because if you open up the middle one, Pretty much all of these, you could throw your smokes through to the back wall to actually hit the default plant, but you can vault up on this desk and you can see this rafters window. You vault up on green box, you can see through the rafters rotate to rafters stairs and anybody pushing in through the rotate hole. And then other than that, you have to make a rotate into rafters and then one more thing after that. So we'll make a rotate here. Typically after I get this rafters rotate, I'll go ahead and reinforce this other rafters wall. So you're pretty much going to get the two single walls. And then once you're done with that, I like to open up this construction hatch just to have a possible rotate for my teammates. Typically, you know, the Jaeger or maybe the Valk or somebody can drop down and they can kind of take some gunfights on people playing inside a lounge. And some holes that I like to make from above is going to be right on the green box. You can see that's the sock door there. You could actually see the front door that leads into lounge from right here as well. And then I like to place my shield right around here on the cash door so that if the breach does get open, which nine times out of ten it's going to get open, you have a little bit of cover here. You can still kind of play these holes. And there's actually another angle behind the shield. You can see the stock door from the other side. So if they do end up seeing this hole, they might not expect a second one on the front side. Other than that, you have quite a few positions to play. You have behind the shield, you have behind cash, you have your smokes that can go over the breach and smoke the default plant, smoke anybody inside of rafters as well. As you can see, it'll smoke me if I'm inside the default plant. And then of course you can utilize this shield to smoke breach. And then if anybody is deciding to plant on the closed breach, you could actually shoot them through the stronghold, which is a little bit unsafe to do from the cash door, but you can see it from inside of 
cash next to the default or the bomb chassis behind green box excuse me but anyways we're gonna move on to our next operator all right moving on to maestro we're gonna reinforce these cash side walls right away and then once we do that you're probably gonna be the rafters player in this case typically maestro is just the rafters player so one of our evil eyes is gonna go inside of cash sorry inside of server facing the server wall just like so on the os side of the server wall and then our second camp can go in one of two spots it can go in either cash or inside of rafters but we'll show you a spot or two in each of them so this east side wall is a really good spot for an evil eye it's a little bit higher up it can see it's a construction it can see the breach if they do decide to open that one up and then our other spot's going to be inside of rafters and typically i like to just kind of place it on this side of rafters just because a lot of the time the attacker try to try to sneak up drones the rafter stairs on the rafter stairs so a lot of the time you could probably just zap them and then when it comes to the barbed wire i typically like to put one on rafters and then our second one i like to play is on the garage door and like i said you're probably gonna be the rafters player so the best way to kind of play rafters here is to, to sit in r2 this is the safest spot and a lot of the time you're probably gonna be prone or crouched not really standing a whole lot unless you are peeking but that's going to be pretty much your job you're probably going to die in here nine times out of ten but you want to try it to at least get a kill or maybe two before you do die but this position is pretty much play until you die all right we're going to be moving on to Cade, one of our last operators for this objective we're going to go ahead and get two of the garage walls it doesn't matter whoever is going to be the last two operators you're going to get the four garage walls so just pick either one of them and the reason Cade is, in my personal opinion, the better operator for the site is because Thatcher is banned a lot. And even with Kali on the board, there's a couple Cade spots that you can use that will pretty much be undestructible from a Kali charge. So once you get your garage reinforcements, you're going to go over to the server wall. This will be reinforced. So one of the two Cade spots I like to do is you can either pocket them and throw them, just try to time it with a thermite charge or ace charge and throw them at the wall. Um, right when you hear it but the better ones is going to be in the top left corner here of red and then i like to place the other one behind some of these monitors i try not to make too much uh, destruction here but you can just place it behind that monitor and anybody in from server window is not going to be able to see that cade unless they drone it out which is possible but if you keep an eye on the drone hole they probably won't really be able to drone it out and even then if, if they do decide to get you know if they do get that cade charge off this monitor here that's perfectly fine because this left wall will be completely impossible to get unless they potentially get a nade down but even if they do if you throw it at the tip top corner of this wall on red hallway here the blast radius is not going to actually reach that k charge so this left side wall will always be reinforced while this right side may get opened and you can pretty much utilize that to your advantage because if this left side's closed and the right side's open you can kind of sit here pretty close to the breach and shoot anybody that's outside of the garage door if they decide to push the garage door. Other than that, it's pretty much impossible for them to get those two Cades. If you want to play Cade inside of rafters, you can also make it impossible for them to open up the garage wall. You just throw Cade either at the number two or at the bottom of the number one. But we'll throw it right here to show you. You can actually get both of the garage walls. And if you throw it at the one and the two, you get all four with your two K charges. And again, this is another one that's indestructible from a Kali charge. So if Thatcher is off the board, the only way that they can get these two Kades is if they decide to throw a Nade or Ash Charge or some other sort of soft destruction to the top of Rafters. And last but not least, we have Valkyrie. So when it comes to Valk, she's most likely going to be available on a map like Clubhouse just because there's other bands on defense that might get picked before her but if valkyrie for some reason is not on the board you will probably want to bring a malusi just to have some sort of info but either way you're going to get the other set of the garage walls you are going to place your valk cams around i'm sure you guys can think of some really really good valk cam spots but place your valk cams around and a lot of the time you're going to want some info underneath of course you want info in a garage I threw a cam inside a garage already, but you're going to want some info underneath because you do have nitros and you might be able to pull off a nitro from underneath if they do decide to go for a plant. So you want to know if there's anybody playing down there, but you're going to want to figure out some spots to place your Valk cams. And then as a Valk player, you're probably going to be on the roam. You can pretty much coordinate with the Jaeger. You guys just communicate and see where you guys want to roam you can either roam downstairs sit in lounge sit in bar and just try to hold downstairs fully you can sit inside of secret 
it really doesn't matter, but ultimately as a Valk player, you want to stay alive on the roam and try to find your way back to the site or get close enough so where you can go underneath the Nitro really quickly for the default plant or any of the other plants, but that's pretty much what you're going to be doing as a Valk. Anyways guys, that's going to be all for me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did so, don't forget to leave a like on the video. And if you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell so you guys don't miss any future videos. But I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.